Well, we're not getting through this with this in our way, so. Hurt. Wow. Well, <laughs> basically what I said. On one of the shelves, you see a piece of floorboard that someone left seemed to have pried up. Take it? Yes. Acquired loose board. What am I supposed to do with this dude? I'm just gonna ask that real fast. Like, what am I supposed to do with them? Look at that! This. It, that's gonna bother me forever how different the art style is. Like, what the actual hell? I wonder if she's still out here. She's not! Okay, but we're moving incredibly slowly. Anyway. So, so glad we're back here. So glad. So happy. Such a thrilling time. Ugh. Uh, but now that he's here, he can move this. Heavy cabinets clashed across the floor. But we're not getting through with this in our way, so... Herc! Oh. My! That was unexpected. Shiza. Oh god. Okay, well, found a body. The skeletal corpse with bleached white bones sprawled across the floor here, lying atop what remains of his clothes is a student ID name tag. Masato Municipal Brotherhood Senior High School Class 2 for Akiko Kaguratz Kagur Ka Sure. There's more over there. Holy shit, there they are. There are the remains of a very tall individual lying on top of the remains of his clothes is a student ID name tag. Mitsado Municipal Brotherhood Senior High School Class 2 for Hado Sudo. Oh boy. Based on the size, this appears to be the corpse of a middle schooler. There is a student ID name tag attached to the tattered remains of her uniform. Hakuro Number 3 Junior High School Class 3 5 Yuki Tsurado? Tsurada? Eh. Uh, oh, God. The hell? That looks kind of new with the clothes and everything. Place the loose board. Sure. It's an extraordinarily tiny corpse, and its hands is a school printout of, with some text written on the back of the felt tip pen. Daddy, Daddy, I want to go back to. I don't know how to pronounce that. I'm not even going to try. Distant Futures Elementary School, Class 4 3, Kanua Yukimara. Yukimara. There's even elementary schoolers here. What a wretched fate. How on earth did you get caught up in this mess? I know, same way as Yuka did? Blah. Don't remember the music doing that before. What's over here? What's over here? Uh, oh god. That's fresh. There remains a female student who clearly suffered a blow to the head. Her skull is cracked open and there is dried blood everywhere. Her broken glasses as well as a student ID name tag are resting next to her mangled corpse. Bakudan Senior High School Class 2 for Emi Urabar Urabe? Sure. Wait. Isn't Bakudan the school that he said he went to? Oh. There's blood and what the hell? Considering this closet, the door is fixed to the wall with a, like a decoration, it won't open. There's an erratic noise, like that of a TV, like like that TV static coming from within. Okay, well, fuck. Don't think there's anything else I really need over here. Uh, I have no tools. Looking closer to the teacher's desk, something seems to have been written on its surface in pen. I found an outdoor walkway on the first floor, leading to a second wing. I'm going to go check it out. If you see this, Mr. Shido, please come find me. Somebody left some kind of hidden message over there on three old school flyers. Apparently you had to lay them one on top of one another to read it. Shinozaki. At least I know she's doing okay to write this. Okay, so that's the message that I was trying to figure out before. But I'm missing a flyer. I'm miss uh, I didn't see any other place it could be. Wah. Oh, okay, thank you, lightning. A little lay on the sting there, but hi. It's a plaster bust, cheap and mass-produced for use in still-life paintings. 
Wasn't this inside the art room before? What's the matter? Uh, nothing. Probably my, just my imagination. Uh, it was in the art room. Wow. Oh. Oh, hey! Oh, fuck. Okay, hold on. Okay, I got it. Is she over here still? Ooh. Uh, okay, so she's dead. Good to know. Fuck. Okay, give me a second. I gotta figure out what all this means. So give me, give me a, give me a hot sec. Thank you, lightning. Not needed right now. Okay, so I, I figured this out. I think I did. This was convoluted at best. And I don't know if I did this incorrectly or if just the middle of the sentence paragraph whatever is supposed to be just absolutely crazy thank you lightning but basically i have to go to the music room and search in one of the desks but it's like by the window from i don't know like the rest of the sentence is just convoluted and weird and just it makes no sense god damn oh okay we have nothing to say about that apparently but here we go to the music room again Jesus. What's with the shadowy figures? Is it like the places where soon to be dead people are gonna be lying? Hey, hello. I like your music. We're not getting through this in our way, so. Okay, so. It's one of the desks, isn't it? Blah! Jesus, goddamn lightning. There are a few sen sentences scribble on the surface of the desk. Uh. Kari? Kari. Be careful throughout around this green skull splatter all over the floor. They can kill you. I ran into a spiritualist here who left behind a pair of shoes blessed with holy water. If one person wears them and all in attendance join hands, then and only then is it safe to traverse the accursed green menace. Whenever I see the sorrowful bodies of, the, of those who have died here, I feel as if I may go mad with worry. I beg of you, survive the, these ordeals. Live. A pair of shoes with a faint, nearly imperceptible bluish glow catches your eye from under the desk. Take them? Yes. I have blessed shoes now. Ah. Bruh. Sorry. Oh, they're mine, so back off. Uh, that was upstairs. I had the... Green, right? Yeah. You know, in all actuality, the school doesn't seem big, but like if you were trapped in here, it'd be kind of like, holy shit, this place is never ending. Hello, you goofy little skeletons. There's something sparkling on the ground. Pick it up. Yes. Wire crystal of unsealing. What seems to be the problem, Yuka? I, uh, really have to go to the bathroom. No, don't tell me you've been holding it in all this time, have you? Uh-huh. My, my. Well, we best find you a place to relieve yourself, then. Though I seem to recall our options being rather limited. We'll find a way. What is this? Permission- Permanent records. The door is affixed to the wall like a decoration. It won't open. Yeah. I use this crystal on the bathroom, girls' bathroom dormitory. Oh boy, she's not breathing. Her eyes have a hollow appearance to them, yet still retain a shine, tiny echo of life and reflect a palpable sense of terror. It almost seems as if she could snap out of it at any moment, stand up, and walk away. The corpse is so fresh, simply being in his presence is disquieting. Whew. Oh, Yuka. Shit. Are you alright? This is terrible. Oh. Yuka, have you seen the ghosts of the children? Yeah, I have. I've been reading the school flyers and dying messages scattered throughout the school. And it seems the ghost of the man who killed these children is in here somewhere as well. He's apparently quite large and wields a hammer. We've met him! Not these people, but we've met him. You better best be on your guard. I've had a great many of my friends, many, many, many people, killed by that man and those wretched children. Ugh. 
At, the re at any rate, it seems clear we should stick together, as there's simply no telling what may happen if we part ways. Come, we must find my sister and your brother before it's too late. Big brother, I sure hope you're alright. I hope so too. Where did he go? Like, I highly doubt he would just leave, but like, where did he go? Thank you, Lightning! Bah. The crystal of unsealing shattered. Ah, missed it. The protective charms attached to the door have completely vanished. It's now open. It's now opening with no difficulty whatsoever. Seems usable now. Will you be alright by yourself? Uh-huh, I'll be okay. Get to it then. I'll be waiting right here for you. Thanks. Gas pant pant. Oh. What? Hello? Oh! Oh my god! Kazami! Kazami, is that really you? Kurosaki, you're alive! You too! Man, you're a sight for sore eyes! Finally, someone else who isn't dead. God for second place is that this is. I was at my wit's end just now. Let me tell you, outside of the school there's nothing but trees as far as the eye can see. I thought about braving the wilderness, but it seems like one of those forests of the lost you see in video games. Once you enter, you can never leave. So what the hell is this place anyway? Damn it all, there are actual honest-to-goodness ghosts in here, you know. I think we may be stuck here for good. There's no way out for any of us. Well, way to have a positive attitude towards this whole situation. Did you see Mitsuki in the next room? She's dead. Yeah, I saw. I just don't know how to handle this. I feel like there's a certain number. A certain number of dead bodies a person is expected to see within his lifetime. I swear, in the last hour alone, I think I've far surpassed my quota. Ugh. Just yesterday, Mitsuki dumped her boyfriend after finding out he was cheating on her with three other women. Jesus. She's been really down about it all morning. So I sent her stupid text messages during class to cheer her up. She seemed mad about it during study hall. But then she sent me a thank you message the very next period. I think it was actually able to lift her spirits a little. Now, though, she's gone. Kill by actual spirits. I guess it was just children. Oh! What? Oh! G oh god. Oh my god. Oh. The fuck? You just stabbed your friend! What the fuck is happening? <gasps> oh! Within these walls. Doesn't matter if you're killed by them or killed by me. Either way. You're dead. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, Satoshi. I just spat on my hand. Jesus, that was a good aim. Yuck. Oh, what the hell? What the? What happened? Where am I? Was I knocked out? Oh. Uh. Yuka! Yuka, are you there? I'm in the staff room. Heavenly Host Elementary School closure date. Okay, we knew that. Hello, buddy. The remains of a female student are sprawled out on the ground here. Her student ID name tag is still pinned to her breast pocket. It's Saturday Municipal Brotherhood Senior High School Class 2-4. Kane Higawara. Okay, I'm gonna ignore those papers because I'm pretty sure that's the memoir. And I don't want to die. Not this far into the game, or this chapter anyway. 
There's a bloodstained cassette on the floor. It seems to be from a digital video camera. Pick it up. Yes. Acquired mini DV tape. The label reads Kabiki Research Data. Kabiki. Did I say that or did someone disembodied voice say that? Strange but true stories of the occult. Chasing down the hidden past of the cursed school building, it really exists by Kuro Kuo Kabiki. Oh. Give it a look. Sure. Over the course of several days, a series of incidents occurred within these, this town in which young children disappeared one after another. Their whereabouts were ultimately discovered through a thorough police investigation, but said findings were very much a worst case scenario. Three of the missing children were found dead in a concealed room beneath Heavenly Host Elementary, unofficially uh, officially unused throughout the school's history. The fourth missing children was thankfully still alive, quickening in fear on the ground, presumably only moments away from this demise when police arrived. Capping off this nightmare scene was an adult male member of the school teaching staff who seemed to be in a state of confusion. In his hands were a pair of bloodied scissors. 1793-918. The surviving elementary school student, after psychological counseling, gave official testimony fingering the scissored man as a, as abductor and murderer. The staff member in question was officially charged with multiple counts of abduction and murder of minors, as well as des desecrating of the desecration of the dead. He was quickly, quickly taken to trial, where an insanity plea spared him from prison or death, but resulted in his compulsory compulsory admittance to a mental hospital. Interesting, the perpetrator of these crimes was none other than, than the school's principal's own son? He was widely renowned for his jovial personality. However, due to mental ailment of unknown origin, he began losing his ability to speak little by little during his years teaching at Heavenly Host. Once his speech was all but gone, he began searching for alternate places of employment, which occupied him for several months prior to, to the crime. The result of this endeavor was not favorable, however, and most of his days were spent staggering idly through the streets. His reputation quickly degraded. Several months after his admittance to the mental hospital, he managed to slip past the main nurses on duty and escape the premises. Immediately upon doing so, he made his way into the concealed basement room at Heavenly Host Elementary, where he took his own life by hanging. Jesus. The three children he had killed were all Heavenly Host Elementary students. But the one girl who was rescued from the gaping maws of internal slumber was not. Following her close call, she and her family moved to another prefecture, far from the memories that no doubt would have otherwise haunted them forever. Sally, this was one only the beginning of the misfortune that would hereafter plague the school, which had already entered itself, earned itself many an unsettling rumor. In the next few years, Henley Host would become a strange, a stage for countless incidences of rape, molestation, and suicide. Jesus! With student registration and attendance dwindling to an alarming rate in response to these crimes, the school was eventually shut down. 1975-1118. The 60-year-old principal at the time had become infamous as an eccentric who adorned his walls, doors, and furniture with incomprehensible scrawls. Even later, forensic analysis of the writings throughout his office could make little sense of his haphazardly scribbled uh, enumerations. And the day after the school's closure date was finalized, this aged eccentric threw himself from its roof. Holy shit. He broke his neck on impact, dying instantly. As you can clearly discern, the sordid history of the school is indeed awful, but there, is may but there may be more to it than merely a series of unfortunate incidences. A power greater than any of us can comprehend may be acting as a puppeteer from the shadows, maintaining an actual tangible curse upon this property. And the key to it all lies within the sole survivor, the girl who bore witness to the brutal, brutal myrtle, mur nah. Try that again. The girl who bore witness to the brutal mur murders, still plug that up, and mutilations of these children no older than she. The girl in the red dress, the one who got away. What? But we've seen her spirit. She's in this school. My investigation into the supernatural side of this horrific massacre is only just the beginning. I was just sure I intend to make this a regular feature. I've begun gathering data for a follow-up report, so stay tuned. And the next issue promises to uncover more details in this morbidly fascinating story. According to this article, the girl who survived the murders. But if the photograph is accurate... Then it's the same girl in the red dress we saw earlier. Why would someone who wasn't killed here be haunting the school? It's a 
good fucking question. She'd have no reason to. Uh... Damn it. Looks like I'm locked in. Hi! Fucking word, you just like aberrated. The hell? To worry so much for another's well being that is torments you for the core. It's an exquisite segment that afflicts the living and the dead alike. Yeah, hi. Uh, and you are? Ugh, her eyes are so cloudy. She looks like a dead fish. I'm the spirit of a girl who died here. I find it interesting that she won't give out her name unless you know her. Because when sh uh, Shinazaki, the girl with the candles, who was in the occult, actually called her out and said, Hey, you're this girl who runs the occult website. She was like, yes, that's me. While they're, you know, she was kind of not really forthcoming with that the first time around. But she, she still knows who she is. So why doesn't she, she, she share her name? I guess it's not important. Okay, I'm not really sure how to respond to that. Happiness and unhappiness are linked. Whenever one attempts to gain good fortune with a little effort, there's always a risk. What are you trying to say? You and your friends have become trapped in the school because you performed the Sachako, Sachako Ever After Charm and messed it up. Sachako? You mean the paper doll we all died we all did? How did we mess it up? Whenever you change the phrase too many times or too few, the number of participants determines the number of repetitions that must be spoken. And somebody goofed. You say it exactly nine times, right? Sachako, 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 we beg of you, nine times. You had to say it one more time for every person present. No more, nor less, or the charm will fail. I'm pretty sure it wasn't me. I remember saying it nine times. So did someone else mess up? And is that why? No. No, I'm not going to start placing blame. This wasn't anyone's fault. It may have been on purpose. One of your friends probably thought the whole thing was silly and just didn't even bother to count. Or maybe a misguided member of your group didn't want that fun to end and knowingly flubbed the charm in a vain attempt to, at prompting a do-over. Who the fuck would do that? No. Even if it wasn't on purpose, some of your friends have a tenacity to take things- to not take things very seriously, no? Oh, it's a tendency, not a tenacity. Sorry. It's not any conceivable that they mess up. And just say, oh well, it's not like I'll ever be found out. Without ever realizing that their actions would ultimately damn you all. Wow, she is fucked up if she's laughing at this. No one's up to, oh, up to it, right? Not a single one of your friends has said to you, I screwed up. I'm so very sorry. I've seen one person. Shut the hell up already. My apologies. I prom I've proposed far too many likely scenarios, it seems. Perhaps in it's in the nature of my job. I have long since abandoned my writings after all. You do still have your scrap of paper doll, don't you? Be sure you hang on to it and hang on tight. Treat it like a memento. A memento of those who are dear to you. Um, sorry to cut this short, but I'm in a bit of a hurry here. I seem to have gotten separated from my little sister, and there are still some other people here I need to find, too. Such concern for your friends and all that impulses that go with it, spurring the heart into action. It's truly a noble sentiment. That's all charms really are, you know. They represent one's regards for, one, for other people. They're like microcosms of the soul. Whether it is to be loved or hate, is whether it be love or hate, all you need is a true strong emotion to set them off. The stronger it is, the more powerful the charm. Uh, Splend man, what the fuck is that? Um, I'm burning up? Wait, hold on. What are you? Oh God. Help, what is happening? That's not good. It feels like my body's on fires. Please stop this. Oh shit! 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 You'll not allow anyone to stay in their way. Those who do will suffer without mercy. What did I do? Uh, now go, go to the one who occupies your thoughts. Though you probably won't make it in time. Ha 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 ha! Fucking hell!
I still miss a name tag. I'm really good at missing at least one name tag. God damn it. Continue in chapter four. I'm assuming I got the good ending. Just assuming. 